Why do you want to be an artist? It's an existential question, and most artists face that question at some point. Typically around the same time they're trying to decide if they should start pursuing art as a career. For me, I didn't start asking myself that question for a long time. Several years ago, I was struggling with an extremely difficult situation. And what's really fun about me is that I'm really good at hiding my problems. If something's wrong and you ask me about it, I'll always just say, I'm fine. In an effort to avoid my own self-destructive tendencies, I would distract myself by painting. Painting became a sanctuary for me. It was a relaxing way for me to let go of what I was dealing with and to forget my troubles for a while. But as time went on, I never stopped painting. Even after I was past all the crap that I was dealing with, I kept slinging paint. I had inadvertently found something that I was passionate about and I just wanted to keep painting. I wanted to keep learning and I wanted to keep getting better at it. All I wanted to do was paint, even before I thought of art as a career. I just wanted to spend all of my time painting. It wasn't until people started requesting commissions that I decided to start selling artwork. Then a few years after I started selling my paintings and prints, I decided I wanted to start making YouTube videos. I thought it'd be a great way to gain some traction and attention for my website and I could start selling artwork online. But that didn't work out as I had hoped because people didn't exactly flock to my website to buy all the paintings from the guy with the terrible YouTube videos. And I finally asked myself the most important question. Why do I want to be an artist? I was doing all of this self-serving work and trying to gain attention and notoriety. I never stopped to ask what the purpose of my artwork is. I knew why I love to paint and why I love my artwork, but what does it do for other people? Why did they enjoy it and who was I creating artwork for? And that's when I realized I had the power to evoke emotion, to ignite change. So I started making art with meaning, with purpose. Even if it was to make someone laugh or remember something, or to remind them that they themselves love painting too. Suddenly it wasn't just about painting, it was about making a difference. My art could be an inspiration, it could make someone's day better, or it could be a catalyst for change. And I love that about artwork. How something as simple as a meaningful image can create so much emotion that it can affect someone deeply. And the reason I've been thinking about this so much lately is because I've started asking myself the same questions about my YouTube videos and my social media. Why do I want to create videos and content? Am I repeating the cycle and creating self-serving videos? Or can my videos do more for other people? Can I create the same laughter, joy, and inspiration as my artwork? Could I create something that improves the lives and artwork of others? And through those questions, I've decided that instead of making videos to drive traffic to my website, where all of my artwork's available and ships anywhere in the US absolutely free, I want to put more of an emphasis around creating better videos and building a community around artwork and my videos. A community where I can help other artists or inspire someone to pick up a paintbrush for the first time, tutorial videos where I can show how to create my artwork from beginning to end, or even if it's just to entertain someone during a boring day. I think that would be much more enjoyable than trying to track what's trending so that I can potentially funnel views into more sales on my website. And if you do what you love, you'll work harder because it's more meaningful. So that's what I've been thinking of. That's what I'll be working towards in the future. Let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see in new videos. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Leave a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time.